Welcome back babes. I am super excited to be doing a Valentine's Day look for you guys today. For this look, I really wanted something that's very feminine, very pretty, very girly makeup. The perfect type of makeup if you are going out on a Valentine's date, but even if you're not, that's totally okay. You could do this just for yourself. And the best part is that I partnered with Revlon for today's video, so this entire look is using all Revlon products. I'm gonna be using some of Revlon's new Photo Ready collections, so it'll be super easy for you guys to recreate this look. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's do this let's get into our Valentine's Day look I'm starting off with the Revlon photo ready prep set refresh mist I like to apply this before makeup so it actually primes the skin to give the skin a natural glow I'm gonna be doing some color correcting starting with the Revlon photo ready color correcting pen in the color peach this peach tone will help conceal darkness under the eyes this will really help brighten up that area and now I'm going in with the Revlon Color Correcting Pen in Lavender. This is going to really brighten up your skin. So if your skin is looking dull, if you feel like you need a little bit of highlight, a little bit of natural highlight, this is really going to give you that. I like to just apply and then blend out with my finger. If you have a lot of redness to your skin, then you could also get the Color Correcting Pen in the green, which is really great for covering any redness. You guys can see that my face already looks so much more highlighted and glowy and that is just from color correcting. For foundation today, I'm using the new Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation and the color that I'm using is number 240 Medium Beige. This foundation comes with a built-in blender, which is really cool so then you don't have to use a bunch of different tools. It makes it super easy to blend out the foundation. Plus it has this angle tip to it so you can get a really precise application around the corners of your nose, around your eyes, any area where you need a little bit more precision. So the reason this foundation is called Insta Filter is because the formula is designed to capture the light and blur and soften any imperfections, giving a beautiful natural finish to your skin. You guys can see here I did one half of my face. The coverage is beautiful and you can definitely get buildable coverage with this foundation. And I noticed that the more you use the sponge, it does soften over time. Plus it just makes it super easy to blend everything out. To highlight and conceal under my eyes, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in number 003 Light Medium. Before I apply any eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Primer as my base. This is just going to make sure that everything I apply is just going to pop so much more, plus it'll prevent any creasing. I'm going to be starting with the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in number 710 Caramel. This is a beautiful golden bronzy shade. I'm just going to use my finger and apply this all over. You guys are going to see how beautiful this color is. I absolutely love it. If you have green or blue or hazel eyes or even brown eyes, it'll really make the color of your eyes just pop. I'm taking a second color. This is the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow number 745 Cherry Blossom. This is a really beautiful pinky shade since it is Valentine's Day I really wanted to do something with a little bit of pink just because I don't do pink often but this is such a beautiful highlight color I'm using this right in my inner corner and I just think it just looks so pretty with the bronze next I'm going in with the Revlon color stay 16 hour eyeshadow quad in decadent and I'm taking the lightest color from the palette and using that to highlight my brow bone and then I'm taking kind of the pinky shimmery color and going over that pink cream shadow we applied just to set it and make sure it doesn't budge. And then last, I'm taking the darkest color from the shadow, this beautiful kind of ruddy brown and then sweeping that along my lower lash line. This creates the most beautiful shape on your eyes, but you don't have a ton of eyeshadow on. It's just so, so pretty and flattering. To finish off the eye look, I'm using the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara in black. This is going to give your lashes a ton of volume. And then I'm throwing on just a couple of individual lashes to complete the eyes. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in the color Soft Brown. I want the brows to be super soft for this look. I don't want them to be too harsh or overpowering. So you don't want intense dark brows. Let's just keep them as natural as possible. 
So I want to give the skin a little bit of a bronzy tone so I'm using the Revlon Powder Blush in the color Bronze Beauty. This is very subtle but it's just going to give your skin a little bit of a bronzy contour. And then for the cheeks, I want something bright and pinky, so I'm using the Revlon Powder Blush in the color Marvelous. And then as a last step for the skin, I'm using the new Revlon Photo Ready Sunlit Dream Highlighting Palette. This has beautiful kind of shimmery, bronzy colors, golden shimmers. And I like to just dip my brush into all the different colors. You guys know I love to do that. <laughs> I can't commit. So I'm just highlighting in all of the key areas and this is going to make the skin look so beautiful and glowy. So the last part is the lips and I love the way this lip look turned out. I started off with the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the color Mauve. This is a great color if you want to do like a really pretty nude lip but not like super super nude. It's just a tiny bit darker than my natural lip color. And then over that as my base, I use the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, HD Forever. This is a gorgeous matte kind of pinky tone. You can definitely wear this on its own. I think this is a gorgeous color, but I really wanted this look to be like ultra like glossy. So I use this as my base and then over that I use the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Metallic Lip Color in the color HD Glow. This just gives that perfect nude tone to the lip, plus it's metallic, so it's gonna give a little bit of a metallic shine. It's so, so pretty. I applied that all over, and then to top it off, I'm using the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the color Snow Pink, and mainly just applying this gloss in the center of my lip to make my lips super glossy. I'm gonna set everything one more time with the Revlon Photo Ready Prep Set Refresh Mist. I hope you guys love this look and have fun trying it out for Valentine's Day. And of course, all the Revlon products that I use today will be listed in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Add me on Instagram at Iman. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.